Hello, Namaste, Salam Alaikum, Sasrikal. Welcome back to another session with your war chef at whatever.com. The dish we are going to learn today was requested by a little girl who came to my studio yesterday saying that she loved Malai Kofta and she said whenever she goes out to a restaurant she always ordered Malai Kofta. And she asked me, hey chef uncle, will you teach my mom to cook it? I felt so helpless. So for all those moms out there who wants to get brownie points with your kids and be super mom and super chef, here is a rich dish for special occasions. What is a kofta? Kofta is nothing but round soft ball of either minced meat or mashed vegetables that have been seasoned with spices and cooked. Malai, of course, refers to the creamy sauce that these koftas are dipped in just before serving. Forget about the gravy for now. Let's just get these koftas right. Lot of people make the biggest mistake with the kofta. When you say Malai kofta, you are usually referring to paneer or cottage cheese koftas. Let's learn to make the kofta balls first. You need one cup of boiled and lightly grated vegetables. You can use carrots, beans, peas or sweet corn or any kinds of vegetables. One cup of grated paneer, one cup of boiled and grated potatoes, chopped green chilies, coriander powder, cumin powder, red chili powder, chopped nuts, chopped coriander, salt and little corn flour or all purpose flour, oil to fry. When I was a student, I tried making koftas with just paneer. They just would not hold and they would crumble because paneer is a kind of cheese and it melts a little bit. So it has to be mixed with some vegetable otherwise by itself paneer will shrink and ooze oil and become rubbery. One cup of um, grated paneer, add one cup of grated boiled potatoes. You all must be wondering why I put the chopped vegetables in a muslin cloth. There is a reason. What you do, you need to squeeze out the extra moisture from the vegetables. And you could use this squeezed out water when you are making your sauce. After you squeeze, remove the vegetables and add it to your mixture. Add some chopped chilies. Add some coriander powder, little cumin powder, little chili powder, little chopped coriander, little salt. Mix your mashed potatoes, mashed vegetables and grated paneer together. After adding all the spices, Mix them really well. To this mixture, I love adding nuts. Nuts give a crunchy effect. The resulting mixture should be firm. Make this mixture into balls, roll into a perfect rounds, oval or bullet shape. Whatever shape you like. Even with mashed potatoes or vegetables, if you leave the vegetables or potatoes for too long in the water they are boiling in, they will retain water. So drain them immediately after they are cooked. Actually. If you are using fresh vegetables, grate them and use a muslin cloth to squeeze the water out just before adding to the mixture. You really don't need to saute the grated vegetables for two reasons. The oil used for sauteing will not allow the vegetables to bind with the paneer easily. And you are anyway going to cook the vegetables when you are frying the koftas. So you can use partially boiled and grated and squeezed vegetables. After your koftas are, have been rolled, just take some corn flour or all purpose flour and just roll your koftas in them. This rolling this koftas in the corn flour does is, in the last bit of any uh, problem with your koftas will be repaired by this flour absorbing that extra moisture from the top. So what we have learned is, 
that to make a good kofta, all the moisture must be removed to the maximum extent. In case your kofta becomes too watery, because you haven't followed my instructions, don't panic. Just add some breadcrumbs and it will absorb all the moisture. So, now let's fry our koftas. If you are making meatballs or meat koftas, add little mashed rice to them. I have learned these techniques from renowned Chinese chefs as they use meatballs in lot of their cooking. Mashed rice does wonder for these koftas in binding and making your meat koftas very juicy. You have seen that I am frying these koftas in a medium heat. Fry them till they get a nice pale golden color because you want to cook these koftas fully because we are not going to cook these koftas in the gravy. When the koftas are ready, drain them on a paper towel. Now the koftas are ready. So let's make this yummy yummy malai kofta sauce. To make this sauce you need chopped tomatoes, chopped onion, this is cashew nut powder. You make this powder by taking some fried cashew nut or even you can take raw cashew nut and use a rolling pin and make a nice powder or you can use in a blender. But if you are using it in a blender, do not make powder too much because the fat separates from the cashew nuts. Cream, cumin seed powder, red chilli powder, oil, black jeera, coriander powder, chopped coriander, ginger garlic paste, turmeric, salt, slightly grated paneer. To the hot oil, add some onions and fry them till they are slightly brown. Add a pinch of salt to your onions. This brings out the moisture from your onions and cooks your onions a little faster. To the fried onions, add some ginger garlic paste. A little turmeric. To this add chopped tomatoes. Add little chilli powder, little cumin powder, some coriander powder. If your mixture is getting little dry, add some water. Cook this mixture till your tomatoes are nicely cooked and then put all these ingredients into your blender and make a nice paste. Pour some oil in the same pan and add some black cumin that's called shai jeera. When your cumin crackle add the blended paste to it. You can add some water to it and bring into a boil. And always remember that there will be a froth like thing that will float on top when you add your little ingredients that have not been cooked. Once these ingredients are cooked, this froth turn into fine droplets of oil and add cream to this sauce. After you add cream, just bring it to a boil and add some cashew nut powder. Very gently add the koftas to this sauce because they are very delicate and put off the flame. The heat in the sauce is enough for the koftas to absorb the juices from the sauce. Just before finishing, sprinkle some garam masala and chopped coriander on top of the dish. Serve this delicious dish with hot naan or jeera rice and you will have your guests going mm, with their eyes closed. The little girl who came and asked for this dish to be taught to her mom is Priya. I am sure there is Priya in everybody's house. Your kids of course will crown you queen if you master this dish. I hope you have enjoyed today's session of learning to make this exquisite vegetarian dish. Remember that Varava is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes, cooking tips so others may benefit from your great cooking.